Well, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed our tour of the clean lab. Now we're in the processing lab. This one's really rather fun. This is where we do all of the testing for all of the construction quality control materials. So we're talking about concrete, masonry, rebar, high strength bolts, uh, roofing, uh, asphalt, all sorts of things. Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna walk you through some of those tests so that you can see uh, what it's like to actually test these materials. Um, we're gonna start with reinforcing steel. So what I have here is a piece of rebar. This is the kind of rebar that would go into a foundation or a wall, and it's part of what's referred to as reinforced concrete. The, this is the reinforced part of the concrete. And to test this, what we're going to do is we are going to perform a tensile, tensile test. Um, and the purpose of that is there are properties of this steel that have to be met for it to act as it was intended to work by the design engineer. Uh, one of those properties is the yield, one of those properties is the tensile strength, and one of those properties is the elongation. And we're gonna walk you through all of that. Now, uh, before we do this test, we're gonna uh, take this sample over and we're going to put marks into this bar so that we can measure the elongation after it's broken. Once we've done that, then we'll take the bar and we'll put it in this machine. This is a universal machine, universal in the sense that it does compression as well as tension. There's an, uh, a bar already in there. It's the same size as this. This bar is a number 11, which means it's 11 eighths. So one and three eighths inch in diameter. That bar then is going to be pulled between the center crosshead and the top crosshead, and it's gonna be stretched and stretched and stretched until finally it starts to neck down in uh, somewhere in the open area, and then boom, and it breaks. Well, when it starts to neck down, that's called the yield. It's yielding, it's becoming plastic. Uh, when it breaks, that's the tensile, so that's the ultimate strength. So, with that explanation then, we're going to go ahead and perform the test. And Miguel's going to do that for us. Uh, this, is, this is a test that's rather loud. And you definitely need safety equipment. So I'm going to put on my safety glasses. And I'm going to put on my earmuffs. And I'm going to walk around to the back. And during the test, you're going to be able to see the bar. And you'll be able to see the load increase. And at a certain point, it's gonna hit that yield, and then, very shortly after, then it hits the tensile strength. So we're gonna get started now. All right, as you can hear, it's really noisy. What that's doing is it's grabbing a hold of that bar and it's pulling. Right now, we're up to nearly 75,000 pounds of load. This is going to go up and up and up. The machine is capable of doing over 250,000 pounds of load. What we're looking for is to see that we get at least 60,000 PSI. And right now we passed 100,000 pounds, which is over 60,000 PSI. We're going to start to see it begin to neck down here very shortly. It's already reached almost a point where it's going into that yield. It's becoming plastic, and it's gonna to start to get narrow at a certain location in the middle of that steel, so watch it carefully. 40, okay, it's gonna be any second now. Keep your eye out. It's gonna be loud. This is a number 11 bar. There's a lot of energy that's gone into stretching this. We're down to 139,000. It's stretching like taffy. It's getting longer. This is going to elongate as much as 20%. Uh, we're down to 127, 26, 25, 24, 23. And there it is. <laughs> 155,560 pounds, which is equivalent to 99,720 PSI. Uh, he's going to take the bar out of the machine. You're going to see where, how it fractured. It's going to be very jagged. 
And um, the really interesting thing, perhaps never thought, you know, you wouldn't think of it, but the motor that's driving all of that force to pull that apart, 199,000 pounds, 155,000 pounds, there's a lot of energy. Where's the energy go? It actually goes into the bar. If you were to put your hand on that bar right now and touch it, you would feel the heat. So Miguel, hand me that, okay? And we will show you what it looks like, and then we'll take you over. All right. Perhaps you can zoom in there a little bit. You can see how that has necked down and fractured right there. Now there are marks on that bar that are gonna show us how much the elongation is. So we're gonna uh, now go over and have Miguel do that for us. So now we have tested the bar. We know that the yield strength of the bar was 65,300 PSI. We know that the tensile strength of the bar was 99,000 720 PSI. So those are two of the three criteria. Now we need to know what the elongation, how far that bar stretched uh, to see that it meets the criteria as well. All right, so we're gonna have Miguel come. We've got the bar, it's sitting in the tray. He's going to put it back together so that it, ma it mates exactly as it did just before it fractured. And what he's going to do is he's measuring between the marks that he had placed previously in the bar. He's checking it in a couple of different locations to see what the elongation is. We're measuring it uh, over the fracture and the elongation came up to be what? 20% exactly. All right, 20%. Um, the, this meets the requirement of the ASTM for elongation, for tensile, and for yield. And that's now what we will report um, and send to our client and all of the agencies that are uh, looking for information on this.